King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla appeared anxious at today's momentous coronation this Saturday morning, May 6, declares a regal specialist. The ritual started at 11 a.m. and continued for a couple of hours, but regal specialist Jenny Bond specially communicated to OK. She was worried about how the couple appeared throughout the ceremony. She said and I quote, I was surprised by the weirdness of some of the rituals and I was not surprised, but a bit worried, about how anxious both the king and the queen looked. Jenny also asked if the monarchs even thrilled themselves due to the intricacy of the ceremony and reiterated, she would have loved to see them be more relaxed. Prince Harry hurried back to California on his 30-hour flight immediately. She said and I quote do we need such a very complicated ceremony? It's so complicated and complex in its choreography, and everything that has to happen that I doubt whether they enjoyed it. I would have liked them to have a ceremony which they could have expressed a bit more, be more relaxed and be more joyful. Jenny Bond also professed that some rudiments of the formality were, and I quote, almost bizarre. Talking about the ceremony gauntlet, the white mitt that King Charles III wore on his right hand, the royal expert Jenny Bond said she was astonished by how she said, and I quote alien she unearthed that procedure. The white mitt is a customary segment of the coronation service and is worn on the right hand by the ruler as they held the sovereign's staff with a cross throughout the crowning. The coronation gauntlet was formerly donned by Charles's grandfather George VI, who was the last king of the ruler before Elizabeth II. Jenny said and I quote it was an almost bizarre ritual by how alien and odd the ritual seemed to me. I mean, I've read about it, I've seen footage of the previous coronation, and somehow it seemed so strange putting on one glove. Though Jenny said individuals desired and I quote pomp and pageantry out of the coronation event, she also aforesaid and I quote it made me think that this might be the last such coronation we see because I don't think it fits terribly well with modern life. After the crowning formality at Westminster Abbey, King Charles III and the royal household assembled on Buckingham Palace Terrace to observe a flypast and wave to the multitudes of admiring supporters. And from Montserrat to Pitcairn Islands, how many of those people will be celebrating with him today? Last time the Commonwealth witnessed a coronation, we still retain the remnants of an empire and deference to the title was as natural as breathing. As Charles enjoys the moment, he will also realize he must provide a different approach if the monarchy is to thrive. Apathy will be his biggest enemy if polling by Britons is to be believed. There have been suggestions of a scaled down coronation to reflect the cost of living crisis presently gripping the country, but little sign of that in front of us as a procession of more than 4,000 military and others stretching more than a mile prepares to escort the King, Queen and other members of the royal family back to Buckingham Palace.